Okay, guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are all well and all good. Um, Saul Canelo Alvarez, let's talk about him. He's got his massive fight against Jacobs on the weekend. You know, the rise of Canelo Alvarez has been has been crazy. He started off at 18-year-old, but I really... And, and you know what? He's had a great career. He, he did a lot of good things early on in his career. Um, but then there was a make-and-break time in his career where he fought Floyd Mayweather. And it was a fight which he didn't perform in. And actually, he got he got given a boxing lesson in that in that fight. Mayweather schooled him, in my opinion. And many fighters would have been broken. And many fighters might have just gone down the wayside. Might have just gone down the wayside after that. Because he was a, he was a hot prospect. People were looking at him as a Mexican future superstar. And Mayweather just really humbled him, embarrassed him. But Canelo wasn't taken aback by that. Canelo wasn't affected. He must have been affected short term. But if you look at that, if you look at his performances and the people that he's beat and how much he's improved since the Mayweather a defeat, you know, his rise is like, I feel, he, I feel like Canelo's a complete fighter now. You know, after, you know, he's lost to Mayweather and actually that spurred him on to become more determined and realise that he's not what people made him out to be at that point. That he was, had weaknesses, that he wasn't that good at that point. He was a great fighter, but he wasn't that as good as what he thought he probably was. And he realised that Mayweather humbled him and there was many areas that he worked on. And he did go on and work, work on, on those areas. He did dedicate himself. He didn't go down the wayside. He had a lot of money. Even after that Mayweather fight, Canelo had enough money to live his life. He could have done whatever he wanted, but he stayed determined. He stayed hungry. And that's why Canelo's had such a career after that. His career after that has been spectacular. He beat so many top fighters after that. Because Canelo had that hunger, he had that desire. He he didn't he that Mayweather defeat didn't destroy him. He's mentally very strong. And you know, you've got to give Canelo massive respect. And I actually think that defeat to Mayweather actually has made Canelo a way better fighter. A way better fighter. Because he probably started taking the sport more seriously. He's probably realised that, you know what? I have areas of weaknesses. There are fighters out there that can expose me. Which probably before that he didn't have. Who knows? If he didn't fight Mayweather and he fought Golovkin. Maybe Golovkin would have beaten him. Maybe Golovkin would have knocked him out. But Canelo realised that he had to dedicate and dedicate himself to the sport. He, is, he had to graft. Um, like... like Nothing nothing he's done before. Because here's the thing. Mayweather was somebody that grafted in his whole career. He grafted and grafted and grafted. And that's why he, he was the superstar that he was. That's why Mayweather became what he was. Because like you hear stories about Mayweather. He would fight and the next day he would be in the gym. And I believe Canelo's that as well. I believe Canelo's a gym rat. Now I do think Canelo has names been tarnished a little bit. Because of the drug scandal that he had. Uh, but I do think that Canelo's a, a workaholic. He's a machine. I think he lives in the gym. I generally do. I think he's. I think he's somebody that that just trains his socks off. You, you look at look at Canelo. Even when he's not fighting, and you see him in a, in a, you've never seen him fat. You've always seen him in shape. He never looks overweight. He's always in great condition. Um, so I just think Canelo's a supreme athlete. I just think he's, in my opinion, the best fighter in the world today. I just think everything about him. I like everything about him. I just think he's. He's a, a supreme, supreme athlete. I believe he's he's one of the best athletes out there. He's just exceptional. And I believe that, that defeat that he had to Mayweather actually spurred him on um, and made him the fighter he is today. Um, I just think he's he's not looked back since that Mayweather defeat and he realised that, you know, there's a, this sport is hard. He realised that he's got to work his socks off and he realised that he's got weaknesses in his game. Then he's looked to close those, gap, close those gaps, improve those weaknesses. And that's why... Um, or fill those gaps, I should say, and 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 look at the fighter he is today. I believe he's a complete fighter. That's why I believe, you know, he's he's on another level to most fighters because his work ethic, um, his skills, um, and just his mentality, his me his mental strength is on another level to most fighters. And that's why I think he's the best fighter in the world. If I'm honest with you, but yeah, guys, leave your thoughts. And guys, remember to please like, share. And subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.